All right. This is always therapeutic for me. <laughs> Len is riding the Elite 110, and he is, of course, the owner of the Elite 80. But I thought it would be kind of cool to go on a little bit of a scooter ride. I'm, of course, riding the SH 150, and he is riding the Elite 110. He's going so slow. He's going 30 miles an hour. This is a 40 mile an hour. What is he? Look at this guy. What are you doing, man? This guy. What are you doing? This guy is. Uh, he must be looking for something. I actually don't ever. I don't think I've ever seen anybody go this slow. What are you looking for, man? Pay attention. Look at this guy. What are you doing? Oh my god, what is this guy doing? Why are you going so slow, Altima? Yeah, don't... What are you doing? This guy is, uh... <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh my god, this guy's finally turning right. I want to see what this guy looks like. And of course, he turns right without stopping on the red. I'm a supermodel on a scooter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. How y'all doing? Good. Yeah, that guy was going pretty fast. It's funny, everywhere you stop, you hear those cicadas in the woods. I think the part I like about motorcycles, especially the Super 10 Ray, is that if I want to go to Pretty Boy Dam, as I did yesterday, or the day before, I can just head over there. And to get to Pretty Boy Dam, just to ride around on this SH, requires a lot of production. Because you can't really go on roads very well. Hey there, this thing. You can't go on roads very well or highways at least on these little scooters so you always have to plan things out and if it gets late you can't really jump on the highway there's a there's a park like three miles this way we'll okay, stop there you know where i wanted to stop you know that park back there was like west branch it was like where people launch kayaks yeah yeah you remember that yeah i wanted to stop there but i couldn't get your attention but oh this is western park i like to come here once in a while it is a very good park. You know, sometimes, oh, I got hit by another cicada. You guys seen these? There's so many of them. Let's see if I can pull into this, this place here. Look at this. You know, the beauty of the scooter is that you can do this. And just park. in the shade. Yeah, yeah, turn it off with the key. So now I'm going to give him the SH150 and I'm going to hop on the Elite 110 and we're going to go for a little bit of a spin on it. But first I'm going to go to the bathroom. I think he's going to, actually that scooter looks pretty darn good. It's so tall. I've never really seen it ride in my mirrors. I do wonder what he's going to think about riding both of these scooters. Since he's the owner of the Honda Elite, I kind of wish I had the Elite 80 ready for him because the Elite 80 feels very different. There's a lot of uniqueness to that scooter. You know, I could get a car, but cars just don't seem to have the personalities that these little motor scooters have. Even a scooter like this is more fun to ride, I think, than a fancy car. What? He's gonna be leaving. We're in the park. He wants to go around, but there's no point. There's no point. Just looking at him. Oh, it feels good to have the wind on me. That SH is so suffocating when it's nice out. Like this one, I feel all the wind hitting me. 
I gotta remove that windscreen. Look at that, he's passing me. <laughs> Look at that. I can't, I can't even keep up. You see one thing I notice is that my brake light just stays on, unfortunately. Let's go around this corner, speed up so we can like go up and not lose speed. You know, the problem with not having a windscreen is that when it's cicada mating season as it is now, you're going to get hit by some cicadas. Oh, look at the all this gravel here. Battle of the scooters. It's very slow moving. This bike does go into corners faster, but that's mostly like a flickability thing. You can flick it around much faster than the SH, but the SH has got much more usable power, I think. That SH does sound much better than mine, or sounds better than this one. That me, he came up to the stop sign and he's like, you know, I kind of, I really like this engine. It feels like it's the Goldilocks of engines for a scooter, the 150. And in a way, I think he's right. The 150 does feel like a Goldilocks because it still feels like it's a very small scooter. You can still do all the hooligan, dare I say, hooligan. But it still has enough speed to kind of get you out of out of like some danger zones and keep up with the flow of traffic so the 150 by honda is extremely reliable you can literally just keep it running and have it almost reach 100,000 miles now i haven't heard of riders hitting 100,000 miles but i have several people that have the sh150 and they have 70,000 miles and one guy is in New York so that guy uses it all the time it's a perfect bike if you're a courier I would rather have that than a motorcycle just because of the automatic Glenn what do you think of the SH150 so I think that this engine is exactly what you need it's <laughs> versatile it can hit speeds over 60 safely because of the tire size, it's 10 inch on the Elite 80, 12 inch on the Elite 110. Here you have, these wheels are 16. 16, makes all the difference in the world. It's safe, over 60 miles per hour, but it'll still do the slower speeds comfortably. It'll still do it with a nimble handling uh, you know, profile. So you get the, the, the fuel economy from a 150. 94 That's, miles to the gallon. There you go. So, so yeah. Do you really need to ride an 80 or a 110 for fuel economy? No, because you're going to get the fuel economy out of this. And you're going to get uh, you know, safer top speeds, over 60 miles per hour. And you can still go slow. You can still uh, you know, run errands on this thing with the cavernous uh, underseat storage, the top box. Well, I, mean, I don't know if the underseat storage is oh, that it's great. it's not cavernous on this one, yeah. is it? See, I'm thinking the Elite 110. Oh, you're right. I got it. So, it's not quite what it was. So it's about half of what the Elite 110 is. Yeah. My, uh, maybe 30, 30, maybe one yeah. third of the Elite 110. Yeah. It's either about half or one third of the Elite 110, but it's something. It's something. I think you can get a gallon of milk in there. I, I, think, I think. I'm not sure. But you might be able to. You might so, be able to. You might, But you can get something in there. But when you combine it with, I think this is what, maybe a 30 liter top box? Yeah. Right, right around 30 so liters. So this one, you almost need to have a top case. Absolutely. But once you combine 30 liters here with maybe, what, 10 liters here, roughly? Yeah. So you're talking 40 liters of storage. And if you need to, just put something on the floorboard if you're not going so long distance. So this engine right here, riding this for the first time, makes me want to buy a Honda Adventure 150 because this engine is really the, the ideal displacement size for a scooter. I think this is where you want to be, an 80, too small. Uh, this right here gives you top speeds over 60 miles per hour, but you still have the nimble handling profile that an 80 or a 110 will give you. You know, you're still as versatile, you're still as agile on this as a, 
80 or 110, the weight is still low. So this makes me want to buy the Adventure 150. I want to take one for a test ride because I think now knowing that this engine is in the PCX, it's in this, it's in the Adventure 150, I think my if my next scooter purchase will be a 150. Absolutely. Wow, this bike feels a lot more comfortable. When you're talking about geometry, it fits a normal person a lot more. The um, Elite 110 feels like I'm squatting on it. But it is true, we, we do not have a good amount of European style scooters in the United States. The SH-150 is a European, actually I should say, Italian styled scooter. And what the Italians do is basically make scooters like the SH. They are large wheel because they just ride much better. They have a kind of like a medium size engine like the SH or 150 and they go all all the way to like 300 but there is a niche for these italian style scooters because they are very usable and the problem in the united states is like nobody really rides scooters so i'm getting more and more into scooter riding and enough that i might have to like fix these plastics again because they look just so bad i'm like looking at it and I'm looking at the plastic and I'm thinking, oh, that's got to be a better way. But then I look at the prices. I look at the, the prices on eBay for the SH-150 and I, I can't pay like $200 per side. You know, with shipping, it gets to be way too expensive. I really think that the 150cc might be the perfect size for scooters. You don't need anything bigger, you don't need anything smaller. This is the Goldilocks of scooters when it comes to engine size. But very few options exist. Too bad. Too bad that Honda didn't keep bringing the scooter to uh, the United States because the Italian styled SH-150 might be probably one of the better scooters you can yeah you know, i guess you can't get anymore all right guys thanks for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you in the next video bye peace la 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 here behind this cage crazy crazy everybody laughs you go you never get this uh, but the one time he break a cage and he get this and then we all laugh high five <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck here. The cops won't bother me.